Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and today I'm gonna to teach you how to play Taco Cat spelled backwards. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. It's board game week. That's right, it's board game week. We're talking about board games, teaching you how to play a couple of new board games. Why? Why am I doing this? Well, because I like board games. I do, I like board games. I'm a board game collector. So on top of all the other things I collect, comic books, Star Wars toys, decks of cards, I also collect board games. And so uh, because I like playing cards and I've been a playing card collector all my life, playing cards naturally shift to games that you play with playing cards, right? Because you're supposed to play games with cards. <laughs> uh, and that also shifted over to CCGs. And so I've been playing Pokemon and Magic the Gathering for a long time. I play a lot of the Marvel uh, board games, the Marvel card games. I play uh, a lot of uh, like Minecraft card game. Uh, man, I can't even name all the, I mean, once a week, my family sits down and plays a board game. And so uh, we love it. And we'll, or we'll take board games with us when we go on vacation, we'll take them camping. And so this week I thought I would show you another uh, board game from my collection. Uh, doing board games all week this week. And uh, today we're gonna look at Taco Cat spelled backwards. This is from Exploding Kittens. If you like board games, make sure you hit this video up with a like, hit this video up with a subscribe, hit those notification buttons so that you're alerted when I do another review. Typically, if you are new here, you don't know about my channel, I review playing cards every single week, I review magic tricks, and I give them away. I also have another channel where I teach magic tricks exclusively. Uh, so if you like to learn some magic tricks, especially magic tricks, easy to do tricks with cards, you might wanna check out that channel as well. All right, Taco Cat spelled backwards. Uh, this is a game from the people down at Exploding Kittens and uh, designed by Alan Lee. If you already have heard of Exploding Kittens, and I mean, who hasn't, right? Uh, you might remember I actually did a review for the Exploding Kittens game. Uh, that review, that how to play, currently has over 22,000 views. So let me just say, there's people out there. There are people out there like me that love the board games. Uh, this is only for two players, only. Can't play more, can't play less. Uh, it takes about 15 minutes to play and it's for ages seven and up. Now we're gonna show you all the things that come with it, talk about what's inside the box and how to play. But first, while I've got you here, I wanna show you this box. This box opens up into the game board. That is your game board. So everything is self-contained right in this, which makes this another great game to take to a hotel or take camping. Uh, you can see it says Taco Cat right there in the center. And this game is all about palindromes. A palindrome is a word or phrase that is spelled the same forward and backwards. And so the object here is to get from zero to your goal. So you're gonna place Taco Cat on the zero, or on the O, I should say, it's really an O. And uh, if you've chosen yay as your goal, you wanna move Taco Cat to yay. And if you've chosen wow to be your goal, you have to move Taco Cat to wow. And once you do that, you win the game. All right, let's talk about what's inside. Of course, like most board games, you get a set of rules, but of course you don't need the rules because you've got me. Well, actually you do need the rules. Hold on to the rules. We'll talk about that later. You'll get one super adorable Taco Cat icon token. This is the character that you move uh, down the ends of the game. There's only one, so you just take turns moving him. And of course you might remember Taco Cat from the Exploding Kittens game. You will also get seven very colorful palindrome tiles. As you can see, this one is called Step on No Pets. And of course, if you say it backwards, it's also Step on No Pets. And then of course, you'll get 38 cards to serve as your draw pile. When you unwrap everything, make sure you shuffle these cards well because they consist of various numbers. And you want these numbers to be as random as possible because you're gonna deal a set of hands to each person during each turn, and it's good to have a nice hand of both high numbers and low numbers. And of course, not only do they have a fun graphic, but they have a number in each corner and a palindrome up on the top. For instance, star rats, spelled backwards, is star rats. 
So starting off, you are going to open up the game board. You're going to shuffle the draw pile and place that off to the side. You're going to shuffle up the palindrome tiles. Eh, you don't need to. And place those off to the side. And you'll place Taco Cat on the O. You'll then draw seven cards to each person and determine who goes first. The first player will lay a card down and it'll have a value. So let's say they throw down a seven. Now, when you are in uh, your opponent's hand, they will have the opportunity to either defend or uh, kind of give up, I guess you could say. You could retreat and, and not defend. Uh, if they defend, they're gonna look through their hand and try to find a card that beats the seven. So let's say they throw down a 10. If they throw down a 10, then obviously they win the round and both cards move off into the discard pile. And after the first round, or after every subsequent round, whoever had the highest card, they are the winner, and they will get to go first in the next round. Now let's say the hand goes a little differently. Let's say if the first player throws down a six, and the other player is looking at their hand, and they don't want to use their high card just yet, or they don't have a card that beats a six, what do they do? Well, they have to look through their deck and they have to play their lowest card, no matter what. No strategy to this. If you're not gonna defend with something higher than a six, you need to play the lowest card in your hand. So let's say they played a five, and so they would lose, and then the other player who played the six, they're gonna go first again in the next round. You're gonna play through your entire hand, back and forth like that, until there are only two cards left. Your spectator has one card and you have the other. And this will determine who wins the total round. Whoever has the lowest card wins the round. So whoever had the seven, they are the winner for that round. And after your hand is expelled, there's a couple things that you're gonna do. First thing, the winner is gonna move Taco Cat one step closer to their goal. Second thing, you're gonna put a palindrome tile into the space that Taco Cat previously occupied because going forward, that space will now be skipped. All right, so what do you do if in the last case, both cards are the same? So let's say it's the end of your round, you both turn over your last card and the cards are identical. Then what do you do? Well, then you look at the game board and you look at the arrow where Taco Cat is sitting and the arrow determines who is the winner of the tie. And really, that's the rules. That is the rules. It's gonna play that simple, back and forth, taking turns, skipping any palindrome tiles that are in play until somebody takes their taco cat all the way to the end. Now, those are the basic rules. And I did say you should hang on to your rules because in the rules, there are also uh, jumbo attacks. Now, jumbo attacks are a little bit more complicated and they probably would take you to look at the rules to figure out. I'm not gonna explain them here now because I want you to get started. And so hold on to your rules, and when you feel like you've got Taco Cat down, uh, go back to them and refer to them and look up the jumbo attacks. All right, so that's everything I can say about Taco Cat spelled backwards. And like I said, you can find this probably in the same place that you would buy Exploding Kittens. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. The positives are, Everything is explanatory, very easy to follow. It's one of those games that's not hard to describe to a new player, um, and young players especially gravitate towards it. My youngest son uh, loves this game, and he gets a big laugh out of the graphics and all the palindromes. If I were gonna say anything negative about this, playability, uh, as far as repeat playability, yeah, repeat playability, eh, it's not as fun. I don't find myself going back to this game a lot. Um, I kind of pull this one out whenever my youngest son wants to play a game and nobody else does. Um, those of you who are older, you might get a little bored with this kind of fast. All right, Taco Cat spelled backwards. A lot of fun. You can find it wherever games are sold. Thanks for watching, guys. Stick with me this week. We'll review some more games. See you soon. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right. I have a second channel where I teach beginning level Magic Tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces 
that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.